Being a successful student requires many things. One of those is to understand the issues around academic integrity and plagiarism and how they affect our learning environment. This interview is meant to do just that. Dr. Brenda Lescu is one of two associate deans who oversees matters in regards to undergraduate programs in the Faculty of Science. We spoke to her about her role, issues of plagiarism, and advice she has for students. What is your role in the Faculty of Science in relationship to issues of academic misconduct such as plagiarism? I am one of the associate deans in the Faculty of Science that's tasked on delegated authority from the dean to make decisions on academic misconduct cases. As part of that responsibility, I work together with the other associate dean, Dr. Glenn Lopnow, to interact with the associate chairs as part of a, a bigger responsibility to communicate with instructors about their role in the discipline process. So what we're trying to do is to foster an environment where we prevent misconduct. So the instructors have strong messaging about how to speak to students about academic integrity, to make clear that we really value academic integrity at this institution, and then to make the students aware of their responsibilities under the Code of Student Behaviour, so that we're working together to prevent misconduct. What is plagiarism? And what types of plagiarism do you see occurring in science courses? So if we look to the Code of Student Behaviour, it states quite clearly that students should not submit the words, ideas, images or data of another's as their own. And that, that within the context of that very broad definition, students need to understand that that's applicable to whether they're doing an essay or a thesis or a presentation or a poster. And what we see in science is that students often use the lessons that they've learned in an English course where they talked a lot about quotation and proper citation, and they, that's all they think of in the context of plagiarism. But in a science course, plagiarism is really much more broadly defined because we don't use quotations and we don't cite in the same way that you would in an English essay. So students are expected to read and understand material and then to restate that material into their own words. And that's often very difficult when they're both learning the language of a new discipline as well as trying to learn that skill of paraphrasing. And so that's something that has to be really practiced over time so that they'll be good at it. The other thing that students don't understand is that plagiarism extends beyond just writing in the context of a, an essay or a, a long answer kind of question to include things like computing science code. So how any student will put together bits of code to create a computer program is unique to that individual and it's not okay to use that in your, own, in your answer if it belongs to someone else. As well, when we think about how we set up our data presentation in science, Every person will do that uniquely. They'll look at the data that they have and they'll make decisions about what kind of graphs and how to label them and how to present them. And so to just use another person's ideas is also plagiarism. What happens when a student is suspected of plagiarism? In a science course, the most likely scenario is that a TA will detect possible plagiarism in a student's work and will then report that to the instructor. The instructor will then invite the student to a meeting so that they can have a conversation about what happened. And then at the end of that meeting, if the instructor decides that an offense has occurred, the instructor has no choice but to turn the case over to the associate dean. And because it's the associate dean that has the power to make decisions in the academic discipline process. That helps to ensure consistency in decision making and preserve some of the relationship in the classroom. Once the associate dean has the report, um, he or she will then invite the student to a meeting to discuss the case again. The student can bring a, an advisor if they so choose. And it's important for the student to just say everything they think the associate dean needs to hear at that point before a final decision is made. Once the decision is made, that will be communicated to the student, and then the student always has the right to appeal, so they simply need to read their letter carefully to get the information about the appeal process. 
The only change in process that comes is if a student is being recommended for severe sanctions because then that needs to go to the discipline office. What are the possible consequences for a student found guilty of plagiarism? So before answering that question, I just want to point to this document. This is sent to all science students at the beginning of each academic year and it's posted on course websites. And it gives a general description of what the possible penalties are. The important things for students to understand are that once they've been found guilty of plagiarism, apology is not going to make it go away. What's done is done and there does have to be a penalty and that's in fairness to all students. And those penalties will range all the way from a zero on the assignment, perhaps to a disciplinary failing grade in the course. If a more severe penalty is required, then of course the discipline officer would be involved in that decision. As an associate dean, what advice do you have for students to help them avoid plagiarizing? So first of all, and most importantly, students have to take their responsibility seriously. Secondly, they need to exercise good time management because if they're pressed for time, they're more likely to make a mistake or do something they wouldn't otherwise do. It's always better to take a zero rather than risk charges under the code of student behavior. And lastly, if they happen to be found guilty of an offense, they must learn something from the process so that it won't be repeated again.